Hello there, my beautiful collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Oh, what's up, collective? Let's do water reading. This is just the emotional side of things. If you keep having cups show up in your situation, what's up with this emotional energy, the water energy? Mm, the weight of water, right? Mm. How come the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again? Oh, so a lot of you moving forward, new opportunities. Those of you working on opening up that heart chakra, Oh, that's the difference. It's that learning to love yourself, baby. Six of swords. Trust your gut, guidance, and intuition. What's up here? Page of cups. High priestess energy. Yeah, trusting your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. Knight of pentacles. Scorpio, Scorpio energy. Four wands. Queen of cups. Eight of cups. Karmic energy. That's the ten. That's the, the legit ten of swords in this, and this is the five of pentacles. Oh, <sighs> out come the sun and dried up all the rain, and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Oh, this is a good cleansing energy. A lot of you are moving away from what you do not need. Now's not the time, so you're still doing some of your emotional work. That does feel like an opportunity wanting to come in, but it's a more grounded focus. So the emotions have to be grounded and focused, right? You're not overwhelmed. You're not stuck in a spin cycle uh, with your emotions going all up over in the place. This is a car. It's a karmic cycle energy. So some of you, this is moving forward, moving onward, endings, new beginnings. Uh, you can't call in new love till you focused on the past the bottom so queen of cups we got the six of swords yeah the queen of pentacles the six of pentacles to the eight of pentacles oh which look leads to that aquarian energy yeah some of you it's not time yet you still gotta clear up some of your work some of y'all like that little itsy bitsy spider you got knocked down emotionally from this sort of rain energy and now sun come up dried up all the rain now you're moving forward. You're still focusing on the healing here. Emotionally growing from that page of cups to that queen of cups. So this isn't an energy that's stuck or caught up in emotional illusion and confusion. Right? Endings, new beginnings. You're ready to move forward. You're not tethered down by anything. And you're definitely not just taking any offer that shows the fuck up. Grounded and focused. Some of you with your astrology, you've been paying attention to that. The Six of Swords guidance. This is uh, this is learning to love yourself, right? Grounded opportunity. It's opening that heart chakra up. It's allowing that heart chakra to open. But in order to do that, you've got to love yourself more than you love anything else. Children excluded in that. You all know that, right? You don't give to anything external to you. You don't give up that part of yourself. Focusing on you. Creative energy. Beautiful energy. Trusting your gut guidance and intuition. If you don't know, some of you, just, just kind of look it up. I don't know if there's book, your favorite book, if you're a spiritual person... Look up the scripture, right? Just pull the Bible out, flip to a page, put your finger down and read something. What are you focusing on? Calm your fears. Learning, growing, understanding. You're overcoming a situation which can bring in new, but you've got to be focused on your nine of cups. What what does a relationship or partnership really mean to you? What does that look like? Some of y'all walk the fuck away from an eight of cups to go find your nine of cups. This is all a cycle. So, you know, you've been here, done that. Some of y'all getting over something. Don't go back down. 
things are about to change for you. Better opportunities. Uh, this isn't a hung up energy. You're in the star mode. So, you know, you're not stuck in that spin cycle where your emotions are getting the best of you. You're more grounded and focused. You're giving to yourself and those you love that are close to you. And fuck all to those that aren't. You're doing the work. A lot of you getting ready to get into that earth sign energy. More tangible. That's what you're working for. But first, you got to understand your emotions. You got to understand your emotions. Some of you have a good guidance system in this. That Queen of Swords, that feels like a good guidance system because you have that Six of Swords down here. So you're not stuck. Uh, you're not stuck. Are you ready to start dating again? Maybe. Some of you, no, not yet. You're still learning to give to yourself. A good opportunity. Those of you doing the healing work, this Cups energy, you got to call in relationships and partnerships, but not everything that comes your way is something you need to take. So be mindful of that. When you get in that pentacles, the earth energy, you're going to expect this, that long-term sort of stability. Uh, it isn't that romantic sort of overwhelming sensation. You let your emotions sort of dry the fuck up. Especially to call in a good relationship or partnership. But first, you got to learn to love yourself, give to yourself, understand yourself. Five of Wands, King of Cups. Yeah, some of you could have some sort of residual energy around you wanting to come towards you now that you're looking good, feeling good. I don't know. You're changing shit up. Stay in that energy. Some of you to move into that pentacles, the earth energy. The grounded and focused. It's just got to be tangible. Uh, fuck the romantic dinner. You actually want to have a sort of working date where you actually ask the questions you want to ask and find out what the fuck you want to find out before you go any further. You're going to weed out those that don't freaking make it. But you do got to focus on your emotions so you're not emotionally overwhelmed. If you still get caught up in your emotions, then this isn't your energy. This is more when you've got your emotions under control. A lot of you moving into that pentacle energy, which brings about the positive change that you need. Past relationships, partnerships, failures, whatever the fuck you got going on, you don't need that shit. And you're not dealing with those fucked up energies. Because you made a cup A lot of you, this is it. You walked the fuck away. You made a choice. So stay in that energy. Keep that disconnect going. Why do you need it? Some of you, this is allowing your storyline to change. How many of you have been stuck in the same fucking storyline for a while? Ain't it time for something good? Ain't it time for something better? This is a singular energy working towards that. Or once you stay focused and grounded, eight of pentacle energy here, nine of cups. When you're chasing your dreams and focusing on you and you have healthy boundaries in place, even for yourself, you're going to avoid any toxic relationships or partnerships. It's not even going to be a matter of watching for the red flags. You're going to know straight up whether or not you're going to be able to work or deal with somebody. It's not that uh, love bombing energy. If someone comes in with an offer towards you, that shit's got to be tangible, right? Fuck the, the flowers and the sweet words. Uh, you need something tangible. What do you bring into the table? What do you bring into offer? Because if you ain't bringing shit, you ain't sitting the fuck down. You're focused on this. You do have a good guidance energy here. So trust that King Queen of Swords energy. Trust it. But some of y'all, this is sort of fuck your feelings. You're focusing on you. It's that will of fortune opportunity. But some of y'all got to choose you first. You got to learn to choose you first. And keep that energy separate from what the hell you got going on. I don't feel a comeback around energy. To be quite honest with you, those of you that's feeling that cups energy, I think you're leaving a lot of this. Once you've sort of severed that connection, it's over. You're focusing on you. This is a singular energy. 
a lot of you working towards that grounded energy. So whatever comes towards you, you ain't giving up anything. It's got to be a equal reciprocity here. If it's dealing with work, because a lot of you are focusing more on your work energy. You're paying attention to your contracts. You're working toward what the fuck it is you want. Not so much the emotions. Um, I think you've matured a lot emotionally here. If you were a little naive to begin with, not no more. Not no more. So any offers that come towards you, they seriously have to be grounded in something. Or you ain't even going to pay, pay it no fucking mind. Right? Where's that Knight of Cups or Knight of Pentacles? Some of you job opportunities. It's not always about relationships and partnerships. Some of you that emotional tie. You know, you work your ass off for a company or for, for somebody doing work and they don't really give you anything in return. Be mindful of that, right? If there ain't equal reciprocity, then you don't pony the fuck up with anything, right? Make sure whatever you're dealing with, working with, is actually a good working relationship. So don't get taken advantage of, right? Get that pentacle energy up there. Empress and the Knight of Swords. Fresh ideas coming in. New opportunities. A lot of you need to save those emotions for yourself. Yeah. Save those emotions for yourself. You're aware of the sort of rip current energy. You know how to read your emotions. So, uh, emotionally, you're stable enough. You understand enough to understand what you're not going to deal with. What you're not going to focus on. So, you're not overwhelmed. Right? I feel like this tower energy is around you. But what do they say? If you hear thunder, there's going to be lightning. So, get the fuck out the water. Pay that tower no mind. A lot of you, once you start focusing on yourself, you're going to get out of that uh, energy. Loving yourself. Giving to yourself. Four of Pentacles. You stingy as fuck, too. Mm. Damn, you're taking what you got and you doing your own damn thing here. There's change. There's definitely change around you. So stay focused on you. This is, stay, you're, you're working towards this grounded energy. So that way your emotions aren't going to overwhelm you, right? You, you avoid that flash flood energy. There's that nine of cups again. Two of cups. See? Damn. Once you open that heart chakra, then you can call in better, beautiful relationships and partnerships. Some of you focusing on your interpersonal relationships and partnerships first before you call in a new opportunity. Seriously, when you do the healing, you get your heart chakra in order, right? You're not emotionally overwhelmed. You're like calm waters. Doesn't mean you don't feel emotions, but your emotions don't overrule you. You're not stuck in that spin cycle of energy where you're, you're caught. You don't know one way to the next what the hell you're feeling. Right? You're avoiding that energy, too. Two of Cups down here, you probably had to learn the hard way. Two don't become one. Two just become two individuals that got to work together to create one sort of dream and idea. Right? But it's still two individual people. Two don't become one. But two people with open hearts, chakras, two people in the right sort of heart energy can build something. You're not caught up in that, that, that over-romanticized shit, right? But you are in a beautiful energy. That's the beauty of it. But that love and energy you're giving to those that you love close to you, that reciprocated energy. But damn, you cutting some people off. The very minute you cut this energy off, someone wants to come running back. Some of you know you got the good good. But you need to be mindful because someone is definitely wearing a mask. Mm. You got the good good. So be mindful of who the fuck taps into that. Five of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Capricorn, 
the world card energy with the four of swords. There's that itsy bitsy spider energy with you. I love that. Queen of swords to the six of pentacles. Baby, if it shows up, there's equal reciprocity from the fucking get-go. That Capricorn energy doesn't feel negative. Um, for a lot of you, once you address your codependency and you're aware of it, then you're aware of it. Um, you could be t uh, attracting a Capricorn towards you. For some of you, this is that energy that you don't need in your life. So the Capricorn, if you're aware, you're aware. But you're not going to let yourself get emotionally over. For a lot of you, fuck the sort of romantic promises, that romantic idealism, right? That's not really what it's about. You need to see equal reciprocity. Uh, you've had enough broken promises and pretty little trinkets that end up, you know, turning green or the flowers fade. Uh, it's 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 a well, it's it's a it's a good book idea, but not for real life, not for reality. Whoever comes towards you has to be in problem solving energy. They have to be worth the time, energy, and effort, or you're not going to sort of water that. You're not going to allow that energy in. Uh, Kelly Clarkson sober, uh, picked all the weeds, but kept the flowers. Mm. <sighs> you are allowing the change because once you hit that nine of cups, nine of pentacles energy, once you're feeling good about yourself, you're going to be able to reverse this energy. You're going to be able to get out of that cups and get more focused on the pentacles. But this is that change up. This is that change up for you. You keep getting the cups, the cups, the cups. But it's like eight of cups energy, uh, nine of cups, focusing on you, uh, relationships, partnerships, right? Who are you giving to? What are you giving to? But damn, when you when you sort of cut that off, you definitely left some heartbroken energies behind. But that's only because you expect something that actually gives you something in return. Fuck the empty promises. Fuck the uh, fuck. <clears throat> Not to say you can't be romantic, but at the same point, you can still be, you know, sort of realistic about it. Right? It needs to be reciprocated. It needs to be reciprocated. So, you know... Sweet words don't quite work. Some of you, as you start loving and giving to yourself, Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles energy, your work situation, your grounded energy will get better. Because uh, you're not wasting time and energy daydreaming. Uh, you're not losing that. It's like, uh, if you get dehydrated and you're not at your best, right? You're really keeping track and control of that sort of water energy around you. And your performance gets better. Six of pentacles, the eight of pentacles, the two of pentacles. Once you start focusing on yourself. Some of you, if you started to date... You're actually, your dates are more grounded. So you're not about the romantic dinner or anything like that. Some of you, right? Take it on a lunch date. Have, make it short, simple, and sweet. Not too expensive, right? You're And you're able to ask the right questions. You're able to navigate in the right energy because you don't care what the fuck they look like, what the fuck they might have. You're asking the grounded questions here. Uh, dependability, uh, stability. Their ability to follow through with simple sort of um, um, things. You know what I mean? Are they on time? Uh, how do they look? Uh, some of you, their resourcefulness, right? Uh, you're not caught up in that romantic. This isn't an over-romanticized anything. 
you're like, fuck the feelings. This is, it, it's almost, the date would almost be like a job interview. And if they don't like that, then, eh. Control over your emotions. So you're not emotionally overwhelmed. Right? It's not about the moonlit walks or, you know, whatever the fuck. <sighs> the physiology behind that whole sort of romantic situation, right? The dim lights, whatever the fuck. Fuck that. You'll take the harsh lighting. Keep it under, you know, the date under 30, 40 bucks. It's just a simple date. More like a job interview. Because your emotions are not overwhelming you. I don't feel that Capricorn is being a negative energy. Uh, some of you... You could be meeting a Capricorn. Someone that kind of... Uh, changes your way of thinking. Especially from that Cups energy. You are leaving something behind. Someone behind. I love this Cups energy because a lot of you, it is calling in the right relationships and partnerships. But yeah, be mindful of that because your heart chakra is open. So you're, you're showing this peace, love, and light, this beautiful energy, which is very attractive. But it can also be, be mindful of those that just want to sort of take advantage of that. I feel like romantically, that's not really it. This shit has to be tangible. A date would really be more like a job interview. And, you know, not in a negative way with that. You're just, you know, you're going to be asking some important questions. You're going to be the basics, right? Do they show up on time? How the hell do they look? Uh, can they fucking read? Can they comprehend? Uh, simple things like that. Instead of, oh, they're so dreamy. Oh, the restaurant was so pretty. And, oh, the flowers were so pretty. It's, fuck that romantic side of it. You're focused on the tangible. Right? Can they actually figure out what the tip should be? Do they know simple maths? <sighs> You're getting into that earth energy. Which is very important. Especially for you. That growth that you need. You are not interested in this. So, if you're dealing with someone who you know is just too fucking emotional for you, uh-uh. Uh, you're not going to be even interested in that. Because that's just too much fucking work. Indecisiveness, inability to even fucking make a decision. A little too. This feels like the romance thing, but not in a negative way. There's time for romance once you get to know somebody. Some of you, you're kind of weeding them out straight from the get-go to say who can even, you know, show up to even take the take the offer or make the offer. If some of you are even dating, some of you, that's not even what the fuck you're interested in. Keep focusing on you, though. Keep focusing on you. The more I see this Three of Wands and the Lyseer's Tarot deck, that's like the surfer looking out. But the surfer also knows how to read the rip currents in the water. They're paying more attention to just whether the waves are there or not, right? This is someone that knows how to navigate their emotions, navigate their feelings. <sighs> this is... A singular energy. You're focusing on you. You're given to you. Equal reciprocity. Those of you, as your work life changes, as you've done this sort of healing of yourself, the pentacles started showing up. Opportunities have started showing up. Better opportunities. Because you're not so grounded in your emotions. Your emotions don't control you. You don't care how pretty someone is or what the romantic situation is. You're still focusing on the grounded energy, right? So some of you, it is about a little harsher lighting and just, you know, not spending too much time. Uh, 
What is that song from where Take Me or Leave Me? Because you happy on your own. So you're not a needy. This You're not needy for emotional attention or that sort of attraction. You've already got that under control. Um, you don't need your ego suit. You got that. This is pentacle energy. Not to say you're not a romantic, but you're not letting that sort of determine any new relationships or partnerships. You're saving that for you, the close people that you love. Magician and the Ten of Cups. Hot damn, when you open that heart chakra. A lot of you calling in. Ten of Cups relationships and partnerships. Probably when you're least fucking concerned about them. But it's that, uh, that open heart chakra energy that brings it all in. The Fool, the Hangman, the Eight of Swords, and the Sun card. Mm, moving into that Earth energy. Uh, bringing ideas and things to life for you. Making it work. You need stability more than anything else. Some of you could seriously have attracted uh, uh, a Capricorn energy. I'm feeling Capricorn for Earth sign. It's a good opportunity. It's a good uh, energy. But it's probably not going to romantically sweep you off your feet. They're going to be more grounded and focused. Something about harsh lighting, right? Uh, <laughs> it's like you're going to take the piss out of anything that might even be even slightly the bit romantic. Uh, <laughs> so... Uh, this is like regular dates. Maybe you're just going to go to a chain restaurant. And just, you know, I don't think you want the, the, the romantic thing. That's not it. Uh, you're not falling for that. <laughs> you're not falling for that. No, you're not. Some of you seriously have Capricorn energy. Judgment, Emperor, Ten of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords. Oh. Something with the, the harsh lighting. Um, uh, you know, the, <laughs> the sort of romantic energy. You are not into that. Um, some of you are doing... Uh, you're not going to let yourself get too emotionally overwhelmed. If you are dating, some of you are out there wanting to date. You are going on dates. But they are not, you don't want the, the, the fucking dimly lit restaurant. You're going somewhere where there's life and energy around it. Because it's really more like a job interview. Um, someone, it's all about the stability for you. It's all about the stability. It's either a Capricorn or for some of you, whatever the hell was your sort of kryptonite energy here, that is not even affecting you. Um, so if someone comes in and wants to try to pull that, all that romantic bullshit, you're like, uh-uh. Uh, you would be one that get up and say, nope, let's just go to a chain restaurant with shitty fluorescent lighting and eat. 
Uh, you're not falling for that dimly lit twinkle light energy in the trees. Uh-uh. So, <laughs> you're not really going to be in the seducible type mode. Uh, you can give two fucks about that. If they can keep your attention in a poorly lit uh, restaurant, then they might get a chance. Not a lot of romance here. Not a lot of romance. But... You're focused on someone who can bring in the stability. You want someone grounded and focused, not just someone who's all about the sort of illusion and confusion energy. Where it's all about the lighting and the music. Whatever's kept you stuck before. It's like the, that, you know, that romantic bullshit eventually wears the fuck off. No one's romantic that, that many, that, that often, right? That's like special occasions, especially if you're out there and new, meeting new people, new opportunities. You want to make sure they, they show the fuck up. Definitely harsh lighting here or just like regular fluorescent lighting. There's no twinkle lights. There's nothing romantic. There's no candle lights. This is just like basic uh, harsh lighting. Kind of like you want to see flaws and all. Now's not the time for airbrushing. Now's not the time for overdoing it. Creating that sort of image. Um, you're not really going to be seducible either. Because you'll walk the fuck out of that situation. So, yeah. Some of you have studied the, uh, the science around that, right? That's just the lighting, the mood setting, and all that. The endorphin run. What happens physiologically to the body? The, the, the hormones that's secreted. You understand how that all works. It's all just a matter of uh, the, the sort of chemicals that play, that create that. So, I don't see romantic times. You'd rather take the harsh lighting to see flaws and all. But you, you're kind of ac accepting that for you too. So you're not expecting anything more from you or from them than what you expect from you. I feel like that's for those of you that get caught up in that over-romanticized ideal, which is... See flaws and all from the get-go. And if you can overcome that, then the romance side will kind of take care of itself as you go. Flaws and all, baby. So, keep doing the healing work. But as you open that heart chakra, you are definitely going to be drawing in relationships and partnerships. But who wants to just drain you dry? And who's actually someone that kind of is matching you in that heart chakra energy? Flaws and all, baby. Get them out there right from the get-go before it even gets started. Right? Peace, love, and light. 